Hey guys, welcome to another Regalia and Chill deck profile. But today we have something new um, from a new structure deck ruler that just came out. I haven't seen this built in a while or at all. It hasn't been out for that long. But um, we have the new Green Gill ruler that one of our uh, one of our players at our locals did pretty well with recently, and we're gonna have him kind of you know give us the you know the rundown of his deck and explain what uh, is actually going on because he. He actually ended up doing pretty well. Um, what was your record at the end of the day? I went three and one. Three and one, and I think he only lost to uh, an, I think, aggro, black an book. aggro black book. Yeah, so something that's generally just really fast. It's hit or miss, but other than that, this deck controlled pretty well. So what's exa what does Gil exactly do for people that are new to this card in so general? So he has a uh, cost of three to Judgment. He gets a green Energize, and then his ability is I can banish an elemental from the graveyard, produce a green will, and then I can spend that will for only spirit magic. So it, you you play cards with the, the spirit, or the elemental cards, and when they feed the grave you can just uh, banish them to produce green? And pay for any spirit magic card. Gotcha. Alright, so uh, let's see what's uh, in this deck. So for the resonators, I run two Odins. Pretty self-explanatory. Produces will when you tap a stone, it produces a double color of it. Four figs. Frigs? Figs. Yep, frigs. <laughs> fig Newtons, four fig Newtons. Four is a lot. Yeah, but. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's just so that way you can uh, get the frig loop going on, get cards back that you really need, keep looping over and over again. That's it for the resonators. I only play six resonators. Alright, six resonators. Uh, then for the spells, I play four of Gil's Gentle Breeze Elemental. Lets you draw a card for one green. Uh, to also as an elemental in the graveyard, you can banish it to produce the green. Play two of the Breeze cards. Whispers? Yeah, Whispers of the Wind. It's a good card. Two Flying Clouds. Gives Gil 200, 200 and flying. Makes him really big. Oh god, yeah. Play four spin and miss. Uh, what you want to do with the deck is you want to torn it as much as possible. And then you can just play the draw card before you untap and then just cast that out and you cast get free. that, get a free frig, get a free stone. Mm -hmm. I see. Two Amaterasu's for its sight. I was using these to try and stop aggro. Didn't work out so well, but it's still a good card. All day would you today. up it, or would you just? I would still keep it. You just keep it it's too. still good. Yeah. Just hope to... Then I play four release. Very good card. Mm -hmm. Combined with this card right here, you can literally plus four off of it if you wanted to. Have it. You play it. Draw a card. It's in the graveyard. Banish it. Produce a green. Then you play this, draw another card, get this back, and yeah. then play it again and draw another card. That's that's pretty actually. That's interesting. I, all I know is that you I, release saves lives. Holy crap! <laughs> that card is good if you can remove stuff and play. Uh, then I play three soul debts. Gets rid of high attacking dudes. How's that doing against like big resonators and stuff? Like it's really good. This is extremely good against Fox. When they try to drop down a griffin, you just bring it back onto the bottom, it kind of hurts them a little bit. Yeah. And then I play one observation. This is the second win condition in the deck. The main win condition is Gil. When he yeah. flips season 11 11, it has the same effect that you banish an elemental, produce a green, and he has barrier inherently. And then with the flying cloud, it becomes really big. So you just sit on Gil? Essentially. Okay. And then you got the frigs going. Okay. To get rid of really problematic cards, I play two erasures, get rid of the uh, J Ruler or something like that, seeing how Black Moonbeam is no longer a thing. <laughs> this is this next best. Three mists, so that way I can get rid of either cancel spells or anything that's like gonna hinder me too severely. So what's the color? Is black, white, green? It's black, green? white, green. Gotcha. And then because the deck really torrents really good, I'm playing two Final Breeze. Really good card, especially with the uh, draw card. Play two of the Severn Winds, because why not? It's really good. 
Yeah, no. That's and then another good card is four Vanish. Your five and four Vanish. Vanish just seems like it's so expensive sometimes. It's but three, I guess with, but I guess with, with the, the deck guild, it yeah. becomes two. <laughs> yeah, that, that makes more sense the more you play it. Like, that card's kind of ridiculous with Gil because it's a lot cheaper than it looks. Not a lot of people realize that. And then the stone base is three Gust and Skies, mm -hmm. three Black Silence, and mm -hmm. two Kill and Stone because you really want black. True. <laughs> All right. And uh, you said your toughest matchup was the just aggro. aggro. I was just trying to figure out how to beat aggro. Yes. Yeah, so that so was like, way too fast. So like with that, you just you basically just feed your grave with elementals, but you just cancel things while you're just trying to. Like, it's more or less a control list. And then you just pretty much sit on him, and then you just can keep Frig looping and swing with Frig. The other thing that you can do is with the Flying Clouds, with Frig, you can really make her big, too, by attaching it. She becomes like a thousand thousand flyer, so that's another way if they kill him off. Cloud is good. Oh, well. What do you think was, like, your the easiest match you had, a, like, a decent time against? Like, is it just better against Control? It's good against like, Control. Like, what threw a lot of people off? The flying clouds and them, this guy having barrier, they really just couldn't... Just being really, really large. Yeah, and they couldn't answer him. Yeah. What about your side? Did you have a sideboard? I did. So for the side... So this was the side. <laughs> and then for the side, I would just go into... If I wanted to stop playing Gil, I would play Wukong. Oh, this way. I would play Wukong, because then he could search out the cloud and essentially do the same thing. Yeah, except for minus what would you, the loop. What would you side him against? Like, what, what's the point of siding the Wukong? I really never went into him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the the only point was that I would be playing the uh, his myths that make... He just wanted to be the true Monkey King, guys. <laughs> there, was, there was no real actual reason. That yeah, just, there's no actual reason. And then to search flying clouds. That was a stream. Two of the gale forces, just yep. in case I went up against Fox or anything that had fly in. Definitely your guard against stuff. them. So then I played two of these because it's white. Any really Prissia? This thing would poop on Prissia. <laughs> yeah, it does kill Prissia. Yeah, surprisingly. But I didn't play a Prissia today, so. Even though there was, that yeah. did win the tournament, and you did not play it. So. And then two more two foresights. More foresights. Yeah. Two more Final Breeze. Two Full Chant. Actually a really good card if your opponent taps out and you just pay the two. It's a wall of win. People cry. <laughs> One Board Wipe. I did side this in against the aggro, but by the time I got it, he just had too much damage on the board and I couldn't really stop him. That was like two stones. Well, I was one stone away from actually being able to play it. And then... Three of these to make Gil even more bigger. <laughs> we want to play that over Rapid Growth? And so you play I th that over it? I, I would play Rapid Growth, but in the Gil deck, I think I'd play this because it's a Spirit Magic. Oh, true. that it is. And it'd be practically free when you banish the Elemental gotcha. and play it. <laughs> well, well, there you go, folks. I mean, if you're looking... Like, this is a ruler that a lot of people didn't like actually expand upon. They just thought, you know... It's very underwhelming, but unfortunately, seeing it in our locals, it kind of did put in a good amount of work. Barrier is a big deal, if a lot of people a didn't realize. Having Barrier on a J ruler, Aldebert was the first ruler to come out, I believe, that had bar Barrier already like built into its effect. But you can never really get it off without casting green. And just this having it like built in as a ruler, it also has uh, zero J ruler... Uh, Light Zero's stats, where it's 11-11. So it's actually a little bit harder to get over with than the basic rulers that we have now since our... Out of, like, Lumia, Fox, and uh, Prissia, I think Lumia has a 1,000 stats and Prissia has a 1,000 stats. So nothing actually gets over them without, you know, using either other cards or other effects that could pro potentially run them over. So just killing them by battle is pretty tough and he's a nice surprise that was you know thrown in our locals today so I definitely wanted to give uh, thank um, Toby for giving us the, you know the shout out and the deck profile uh, towards us our channel for Golly and chill like I said we're gonna have more deck profiles featuring stuff like this uh, make sure you guys stay tuned and get ready to see some more interesting uh, matches and deck profiles coming your way